I've been waiting for the official dock for the Steam Deck for quite a while, and I have to admit that I've been impatient. However, it's worth noting that there are so many alternatives that I could have tried along the way, and this one here from JSOX is one of them. But not only is it one of them, it's probably one of the best options too. So with that said, introducing the JSOX Steam Deck dock. Let's dive right in. So I also wanted to mention that they also sent me a bunch of other accessories for the Steam Deck that are really cool. You should totally get these depending on your need. Glass screen protector is a must for me as I always apply one on all of my tech and this one from JSOX gets the job done just fine. It's a perfect fit for the deck, obviously, and everything looks very clear and clean. It's not a matte protector, so keep that in mind. I personally prefer glossiness since it makes everything look more colorful, so I tend to stick to it. It's a great choice for protecting your screen, no doubt. Next is this rubber case with grips that you do have to stretch around to be able to fit around the deck. But once it's all in, it barely makes an impact on the footprint. It comes with this really grippy texture around the back, and it does make the deck easier to hold. And frankly, my favorite part about this package is that the deck will still fit perfectly inside of the included official case, which is not too common when it comes to these cases to be able to accomplish. And that includes the next accessory in the list, which is a hard shell case. This one is easier to install, and many will prefer this one probably. It even comes with the kickstand which could use a lot of improvements if I'm honest. Set it on your table and then play with the controller if you don't want to hold the Steam Deck. I think that these accessories are really cool but let's get into the one that we're here for. So thanks again to JSOX for sending these products over of course. Now finally the exterior design of the dock consists of aluminum and it feels really sturdy. It's genuinely a very strong build here with some grips around the indentation I want to say where the deck would rest. It obviously has that cable with the USB-C connection to connect it to the Steam Deck since the deck itself has its USB-C port on the top. Now on the side you're going to find an Ethernet port which is really important. On the back you're going to find a USB-C port which is going to be here for the Steam Deck's official power cord so that the Steam Deck can stay both powered and charged at all times in order to be able to power this dock as well. Then you will find an HDMI port for connecting this to your screen and three USB 3.0 ports for accessories and that's really it. It's all I need, so I'm fine with that. So when it comes to usability, just put your Steam Deck on the dock and then plug everything in. Make sure that the USB-C cable is properly connected into the deck and then the USB-C power adapter to the dock and the HDMI port to your screen. Then that's pretty much it. The Steam Deck will adapt everything to 16x9 and the screen on the deck itself will turn off so it will only render one image at a time. Yeah, but this is a great way of treating your deck more like a PC since we've got Bluetooth support here and those USB ports around the back. Yeah, so you can plug in a keyboard and a mouse if you want to, as well as use your wired controllers, but I wanted to go with my Xbox Series X controller to play here, but I also just kind of decided to wire it up here. This will not increase the Steam Deck performance here at all, like how the Switch dock allows the Switch to run at full speed when docked. This is really just a way to use your deck while docked. On a bigger screen and be able to use a lot more accessories with it. I really like it because the image looks pretty good on this 1080p TV from TCL and every game that I played ran just as beautifully as ever. For example, I tested Elden Ring while having the Steam Deck docked this way. The deck will, however, get just as hot as ever, even while docked, so there literally aren't any actual changes between using a dock like this and using it in handheld. But I love having this dock around because I get to use my Steam Deck exactly like a Switch, which is awesome. It's a very simple dock that really gets the job done. So in conclusion, I can strongly recommend this dock. I will still be trying out some other docks as I get access to them, but this one is a really good option. It's very affordable too, which the first party Steam Deck dock might not be whenever that comes out, and this is a very solid option in general. The build, the ports, the utility make this a really good choice. Also feel free to check out the other accessories that I mentioned earlier as they might improve your Steam Deck experience overall.
So thank you so much again for JSOX uh, for sending everything over for a review. All of that is always appreciated. And hopefully this video was useful to you in, in finding out about other kinds of accessories that you can use with your Steam Deck if you do already own one. Now, I am going to be leaving affiliate links to everything that I mentioned in the description. So if you were to use our links, then we would very much appreciate that as you would be supporting our channel directly. So thank you so much for that. Also, please make sure to follow us or follow me, I should say, on, on Twitch and on Instagram where I do post every now and then. Now, with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching and until next time, enjoy.